with it, y'all. It's EJO eBusiness. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, so what we're about to get into is to some stuff. Um, South African racism versus American racism from Trevor Noah. Very interested about this. You know, one thing I really like about Trevor Noah is like, all right, I think he's funny as a comedian, but the first time I really like listened to him, I saw him like, I saw him on a, um, I saw an interview with him and he was on a breakfast club where he talked about his, um, a book. It was like his book and it was about his life. And I was just like, man, who the hell is this guy? You know? And like what I ended up finding out, like what he, I never heard of apartheid before until he talked about it. And I was bugged out from it. Like I was like totally shocked. I was like, I didn't think something like that happened over in Africa. Well, South Africa. I didn't, I didn't think that that caught me off guard. Like it, it tripped me out because I wouldn't have thought anything like that would be in Africa like that. You know, I just, I just didn't. I'm thinking it's over here in fucking America. You know how people, you know how stuff was back in the day, but I just didn't know once again. You know, but um, I know I ended up reading about apartheid. I know it ended in um, 1994, which is great. And yeah, but yeah, it's just something about Trevor Noah. I just like his comedy is funny, but like just as a person, like whenever I see his interviews and all that, I really like that. And what we're about to, uh, I'm about to watch this South African racism versus American racism. And it's on Between the Scenes. I almost called it between the sheets, but it's between the scenes. And uh, this is, I like whenever he does this because it's like a commercial break, I guess at the Daily Show and he, he talks to the audience and all that. So let's see what this is about. Um, before I go on, there was, um, there's a lady who I used to work with. She's from Uganda and um, she was telling me about how um, like she wishes like a lot of um, black people from America would go over to Africa just to see how it is, you know, see how our people are. And like she I could go on with a lot with everything she's saying, but I always wanted to go out there and all that. But like I'm going to go out there. I just don't know when. But she she really made me want to like really want to go even more but anyways let's watch this all right enough talking all right here we go do you have any questions or anything before we move on anything you want to chat about anything on your mind the fun part of a live show yes oh i love that i love how you ask such a deep question in such a bubbly way because <laughs> your tone of voice was really fun so what's the difference between <laughs> Because there, I thought you were going to say, like, oh, the difference between, like, summer and spring for you. As you're, you're like, what's the difference between racism in South Africa and racism in the USA? <laughs> that was, like, my favorite topic. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I will tell you what. I think the biggest difference between racism in America and, and racism in South Africa is I find that South African racism is and was a lot more blatant. And w so there's more of an acknowledgement of it as an idea. And I always say to people, I know it's strange to say this, but I often think that was the greatest gift the apartheid government gave us is that it was like, it was there. It was happening to you. It wasn't hidden. Do you know what I mean? So you were just like, we don't want this. People would fight, stop this apartheid, it's racism. And then the government would be like, yes, of course it is racism. That's <laughs> what we're doing to you. The blacks must not do this. But then what happened in America is, you know, you hit that period where like they started changing things. I don't know if it was around Nixon and they were like, oh, we've got to be silent about this. And then it wasn't blatant anymore. And so I, I always thought that's a terrible thing to do to people because now people have to be like detectives of their own racism. They have to figure it out. You know what I mean? So let me give you an example. In South Africa, the government would just say, blacks cannot live in these areas. You're black, you don't live here. Now you know I'm black, I don't live here. I don't like it, but I don't live here. You get what I'm saying? But then in America, you'd be like, can I get a home loan? And they'd be like, mm, no. 
-hmm. And you'd be like, why? And they'd be like, <laughs> 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 They'd be like, why can't I? And then you just start realizing, you're like, wow, how come the black people all seem to only be able to get houses in these areas, but not in these areas? And these school districts are better. How come the money is going here? How come the, how come? And it's, it, you get what I'm saying? And I, I know it sounds strange to say, but I think there's something liberating about fighting an obvious enemy as opposed to one that you have to prove exists. That's probably the biggest difference <laughs> between America and, yeah. Okay. And, and can I just say, I would, what is your name? Uh, Katrina. Katrina, you should be a debate moderator in this country. Because <laughs> the way you snuck that question in was so chill. <laughs> you, would, you would throw politicians off the, what are you? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher, aha! <laughs> you see? That was, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, politicians wouldn't see you coming, you know? <laughs> You'd just be like, so let's talk about all of the campaign finance fraud <laughs> and how you stole that money. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> that was interesting right there. I would have never... Wow. I like that what he said, man. I. Man, you guys let me know how you guys feel about that, man. Thank you for coming. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I like, see, I like stuff like that when Trevor Noah, I like stuff like this. I gotta, I'm gonna start watching some more things. I have to find more things with him with this because I don't find like a lot of stuff with him with this. I just find so much of his comedy stuff, you know? Thank you for coming, y'all. You already know what it is. We up out of here.